Hi there, Peter's my name. I'm in Sydney, Australia, and I'm going to give you a review of the Hitair Moto Rad airbag jacket that I've just bought from CrashBounce.com in the US. Big shout out to Mike from CrashBounce.com. That guy went out of his way to answer all my emails, all my crazy emails about airbag jackets and my phone calls and all my inquiries. He got a special order in Japan and the factory to build this 5XL size for me. It's a great jacket, uh, weighs about two and a half kilos, it's like a normal mesh type jacket. Uh, as you can see there, there's the brand name here. There. Got uh, a um, CO2 gas tube system in here that will, uh, when the, the lanyard is pulled out, will inflate the jacket. I'm just uh, going to do a demo of the jacket shortly, but you can just see from general sort of look and feel that uh, it's got the normal types of features that a jacket has. This my toll pass goes in that little pocket in there. And uh, just using my GoPro camera here, so it's not ideal, but it's doing high def. Uh, got some ventilation happening in here, some adjustments here for the arm pockets. Um, with a couple of normal pockets on the front there, which is normal sort of activity. And uh, at the front you can see there's some uh, pass type pockets here. There's a top pocket here for normal sort of things. And then again, some more vents on this arm and adjustments here. Some vents under there too, you can see, to let some nice air come running in. Also got pockets in there on both sides that you can put your hands in when you're standing up. And looking on the back, we've got a couple of uh, vents there on the back. You can zip up and zip out. This one here is part of the airbag system. When the airbag deploys, you'll notice that pops open like that. You leave these clips on all the time. That inflates to protect your tailbone. So you can see some more branding there. And uh, lots of reflection and stripes and things all over the jacket. It's a nice, really nice colours and piping. I'll just show you inside the jacket. So it just has uh, Velcro and zipper and buttons, the normal sort of thing. So I've fitted an additional uh, backpack, back protection piece there that I got from Hidea when I bought the jacket. It's quite a nice jacket. Uh, it's quite comfortable, I've got to say. Uh, the particular size I've got here is a 5XL. As you can see there, very hard to get. Took me about uh, two months to get that out of Japan. It's a special build. They normally only go up to 3XL, but for fat bastards like me, you need a big size. Some inner pockets, the usual sort of stuff that you'd find in a jacket. Um, as to it being completely waterproof, well it's not. Um, it's the typical water resistant. The actual fabric itself, I was a bit disappointed to find it was uh, 300 denier polyester uh, rather than the, the sort of more common um, 600s and up to 1200s on my um, dry rider jacket. Um, but they assure me that, um, that it won't wear through if I go grinding down the road. Obviously got some elbow protection in there as you can see and some shoulder protection, the standard sort of stuff that you would find in most of these jackets up the top there. And uh, the jacket itself, when it's got the canister and everything in it, weighs probably in the order of, feels like two and a half kilos. Okay, here we go, we're gonna test the, well, we're gonna try and test the Hidair Moto Rad airbag jacket. I don't know if I've got the strength to pull this out, but we'll try. <laughs> Whoa, fuck. There we go. Bomb protector. That's oh, well, pretty strong. Try. Okay, well, we've just deployed the jacket. Uh, seemed to go pretty well. I'm now going to have to replace the CO2 canister. For this particular model, this, uh, this particular size, it needs a 60cc canister, as you can see there. <laughs> La 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 la
happy recommend it to you again last concern 300 denier fabric not a fan would prefer 600 or heavier okay thanks very much